Do we still need the Sabbath day? In Mark 2, 27, Jesus said this, very interesting. The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. Get that. The Sabbath was made for man. It was made that man might rest, that man might experience this rejuvenation with the Father. Do we still need it today? Do we still need rest? Do we get to the place where we grow weary in doing well and we wonder, why am I so fatigued? Why am I cast down? Why am I drained? I work hard, but I seem to get nowhere. What is it that we need? Let's take a lesson from the Sabbath. Jesus said the Sabbath was made for man. Man wasn't made for the Sabbath. And that's the message of the Sabbath. Resting, getting reestablished with God, drawing from his strength. I was thinking about Frederick W. Taylor, who in 1898, during the Spanish-American War, uh, he was working for a large steel mill. And he had the scientific mind and he was studying uh, the science of productivity. The first time in our industrialized nation this was taking place. The methods of productivity. He was, he was watching daily the men loading these heavy iron bars on railroad cars. And he had this idea. They were back-breaking work. It was exhausting. And so he went to them and he said, I'd like to do an experiment and I'll pay you men a dollar more a day if you'll do this with me. Where you work for 12 minutes, and after 12 minutes, the whistle will blow, and then you will rest for three minutes. The whistle will blow, and then you, you go back to work. His scientific experiment proved to introduce today what we know as breaks, rest pauses. For the men went from carrying 12 and a half tons of iron a day and loading it to carrying 47 tons by working less but by having rest breaks. This is what Jesus is talking about. We need times to rest. The scientific study ushered in today what we commonly call our coffee breaks. We need a break. And when Jesus said that the Sabbath was made for man, he meant we need to stop and rest, get to know God.